So it turns out we pretty much know what's coming in the March update for New World and they haven't been leaked as such but they have very strongly been hinted at. Well one of them was very strongly hinted at and the other was pretty much just casually announced on Twitter. As well as that we have a supposed leak of a roadmap for New World but I have to say I'm a little bit sceptical of that I think it's either flat out fake or just wrong. So the February developer talk came out just the other day and well it didn't actually reveal very much. Pretty much most of the stuff that was said we already knew because it was coming in the February update patch and we'd already had it in the patch notes. But then somebody asked on Twitter, hey, where's the blunderbuss? And well, the New World Twitter account pretty much just confirmed that that is actually coming in the March patch. Like that's not a leak, that's just flat out an announcement. So yeah, we already knew that the next weapon was going to be the blunderbuss. They'd spoke about that in the January developer talk and then the next weapon after that I believe is going to be the greatsword. But what we didn't know was when the blunderbuss is actually going to arrive. And well, now we do. So you might be thinking, is that everything for the March patch. When we look back to when we had the Void Gauntlet, that was pretty much the bulk of that content for that month. We did have a couple of like extra enemy types added to the game, but there wasn't really anything major along with that patch. But that's actually where this gets really interesting. In the developer talk, they pretty much spoke about how the story of Isabella was going to conclude in the next patch, and that the story is going to conclude with Isabella's lair, and possibly with the Captain Thorpe reappearance, which we can imagine being a way of getting access to him in the Mythgard like Shattered Mountain area if you know what I mean because he was accessible but now he's not. But Isabella's lure is actually the more important thing there because that's going to be a new expedition and an end game one at that obviously. Now we don't know the requirements to enter, we don't know the difficulty that it's going to be, is it going to require 625 gear score, is it just going to require 600 gear score, we don't actually know that information. Is it going to have a mutated version of it? I just don't know, stop asking me questions. But I think we can be pretty confident that it's actually coming out in the March update as well as the Bundabus weapon. And for me this is actually pretty exciting because this is the first real content that is like permanent that we can actually play as most players. Like if you're interested in the Void Gauntlet sure you could go and get that weapon, but if you weren't interested in that weapon it wasn't really new content. Expedition Mutators are essentially the same content with a little bit of a twist on them and whilst the Winter Convergence Festival did have new content obviously it was temporary. So for me this is a proper actual new content that is end game content that we're going to get access to and yeah I'm quite excited about that. And in that same developer talk they did mention about the story yes I said that it's going to conclude the Isabella story in March but the question was raised like is there even a story in New World and the answer to that is basically yes there is a story but nobody pays attention to it because of one simple reason and that is because of a lack of cutscenes. In-game dialogue isn't really that interesting I don't think there's any in-game cutscenes apart from the intro do correct me if I'm wrong if there were I literally just flat out skipped them but yeah I really hope that with Isabella's lure we're actually going to get a cutscene at the end of it that yeah you can watch and skip sure I don't want to like get just you know make it so you have to watch it every time you do it but getting an in-game cutscene like at the end of her story that I would really like rather than say like uh, you know a 40 second introduction to her when she talks and she tells you her story and stuff like that I don't really want that I'd rather have a cutscene and I hope New World start implementing that pretty soon and then we have this supposed leak of the roadmap which personally I am finding difficult to believe because actually it's just flat out wrong we know that the blunderbuss is definitely coming March it's like that Isabella's lair is coming in March and on this roadmap I think it has that scheduled for May which leads me to conclude that it's probably not real. When I look at it it sort of looks like things that we knew were coming or are very likely going to be coming anyway with maybe just like a few extra interesting twists. I will keep an eye on this roadmap to see if there's anything that we can glean with it if it gets proven true but to me it seems unlikely and a little bit like a wish list. Also one thing to note that I was pretty convinced that the February update was going to be coming this week. We commenced in the 22nd of February and that simply hasn't materialized. If anything just last night they actually released an update on the PTR and they tested a war because they thought they fixed maybe the movement bug but that's a strong indication that it's not going to be coming tomorrow or Friday it's probably going to be next week it may even technically get March because if they, I, I don't know if they're going to release it Monday or if they will stick with Tuesday like they have it traditionally done so. So yeah I was wrong with that one I mean I'm a little bit surprised by it but it is what it is likely going to be coming Tuesday the 1st of March. So we're definitely getting the blunderbuss in March that that's confirmed. Isabella's lure is very very likely going to be March. I can't see it not being the way that they were talking. Also I think like a new weapon would possibly feel a little bit underwhelming so for me it makes perfect sense. That's going to conclude the story for anybody who actually cares about that and the roadmap that we've seen doesn't necessarily appear to be fully true or it's maybe just out of date or something like that. If you like this video and you want to keep up to date with New World then do subscribe and like this video. Come and follow me on Twitch. I'm having a great time streaming there. Not streaming for a little while because I've got a bit of a cold and I do apologize about that. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.